barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Before I get into this good news, uh, we're going to do an event March 16th in Dallas. Um, 10 a.m. that Saturday morning. Uh, I'll let you guys know the details, the cost, and the address. I'll have, I'll have something for you guys by Friday of this week. Um, but I saw something. I just got to finish watching Carissa Shields' interview. And I saw something that was very, very, very telling and interesting. That uh, I don't know if anyone picked up on it. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lover of details. You know what I'm saying? Tom Lawford is an advisor to Christina Hammer. <laughs> you guys are laughing, right? I hope you guys got that right along with me. Bob Arum gets a deal with ESPN. Tom Law, for the first time in his career, I believe, becomes a out, an advisor publicly. If you can't beat him, join him. This is the business version of culture vulture, right? Culture vulture, right? People criticize, they criticize them. And, 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 and truth be, I'll, I'll talk about Tom Lawford in a second. This has nothing to do about Tom Lawford. This has everything to do about when we set the standard and don't get the credit. You know, it's, this has no, this video has nothing to do with Tom Lawford. Tom, oh, he's an advisor. We know he's a promoter. Remember everyone advocating against Al Heyman and supporting Tom Lawford, I don't want to say their names and give them too much credit, but we remember those days. I remember vividly. And now Tom Lawford is an advisor. I'm just going to show you. I mean, being a businessman, I'm not a businessman. I'm the businessman. That's what Jay-Z said, and that's what Al Heyman's living. So, anyways, man, I just wanted to reach out and touch you guys. And I'll say this about Tom Lawford. I actually like Tom Lawford. For real. Like, I, 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 I like him. Uh, I don't know why he's defensive. He's, he's sometimes typically defensive when I'm interviewing him. Um, and I don't know why, because I wrote some... I'm pretty sure he read the articles I read on, on Triple G because they requested it when, uh, when I applied for my credential. I was very positive as it relates to Triple G. You know? I was a guy who liked Triple G. You know, I thought he was... I thought he was the real deal. You know, I, I thought... But then, as he got up, 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 and he wouldn't fight the A-level fighters, you know... Um, the truth started coming out but prior to that you know all the fights at the forum you know Dominic Wade and I believe he fought someone else at the forum if I'm not if I'm not mistaken I thought this car was about to run the red light but uh Tom Lawford had a gold mine and if he would have I'm gonna tell you guys what was the downfall not the downfall he's gonna get business he's gonna get he's gonna make a comeback soon that's what all these promoters do they reinvent themselves they get a young fighter and they turn pro Tom Lawler didn't, and, and understand this when I say this, Tom Lawler didn't add the culture when he was signing these fighters. There's no coolness to Tom Lawler. There's no, um, he didn't adapt, so the young fighters couldn't assimilate. And, and that's what Oscar De La Hoya is going through. Uh, if you just have one brand, you know, people are just going to know you just for that one brand. But when you can be a businessman in the boardroom and be a cool guy in a boxing gym, that makes you, uh, that, that increases your value. So I, I, I believe that was one element of Tom Lawford. But in terms of business, I mean, he's, he does his job. You know, he does his job. Um, we all make mistakes as a businessman. But I actually like, I actually like Tom Lawford, you know, truth be told. But uh, he just, I... I He's missing the ball on this L.A. market. He's missing the ball out of all these young kids coming out of L.A. and the West Coast because it's, there's no coolness to him. You know, it's, he, he runs a kind of, his, his events are kind of stiff, you know, uh, homogeneous kind of, you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, anyways, man, oh, my window's fucking down. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't know my window. Let me roll it up so y'all can hear me. But uh, yeah, so Tom Offer is an advisor now. Bob Arum has a network deal with ESPN. They said it wouldn't work. Now they're following the foot, footprints in the sand, which makes Al Heyman Jesus then, right? <laughs> Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to subscribe. Buddy. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.